So in today's vlog, we tackle the Hair Castle Tunnel and we've heard so many scary things and we were a bit apprehensive to see how it was actually going to pan out. But as you will see, it's nowhere near as bad as we expected. So we arrived at Hair Castle Tunnel and we were rather early. Um, we had a, a point, um, booking for four o'clock but the Lockie shouted over and said that uh, we just had to wait for some other boats to come through and then we were going to be able to go through, which was probably about an hour or so early, which is great. So he came over and he checked our lights and our horn and just made sure that everything was okay. And we just waited until we could go through. Let's go and have a look to see what we're going through. There's lots of kids at school today who can hear more shouting. And that's the tunnel we're going to go through. Hmm. So Steve's just been down to have a look, just to eye it all up and see what he thought. Just making sure as well that obviously we could get through with our boxes and everything on, but he was sure we've got ample space. So the other two boats had come through and the lock keeper was down at the bottom now telling us that we could get ready. So uh, Steve untied and uh, we got our torches and everything ready, coats on and uh, Maxie was attached to her lead just so we knew where she was at all times and we were ready to go. Lock is going to get his coat. Here comes the rain. Going under there, mate. Good girl. It's a bloody good damn bow for Susanna. Yeah. Come on. She's alright in the tunnels then? Yeah, she, sometimes she's not too clean but... She'll be alright because we're all here. Yeah, she's better. Come on up here. Come on up here. Bollocks, the train. Flowers are going to get knocked. No, they're not. <laughs> we're missing. If the flowers get through, the box gets through. Oh, the flowers right in the get box. through. Yeah, keep, there you keep go. Keeping the heads on the flowers. The box is through because the flowers are through. That's it. Med to measure, look. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry we've left you with the rain. Very nicely done. That was without bumping the sides or anything. Thank you very much. Thanks ever so much. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Cheers man. Man. Sorry about the rain. Thanks a lot. Watch your heads as you go. Yeah. They will. Oh yeah, just a little, yeah. I can stand up for a bit. Look at these. Just get that. Get your way. Come back in then. Get sit down there again. I'm back in. Bright, isn't it? It is. It's not that long. This is drier than that last one at the beginning, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not ready. It's raining on this one. Just watch your head. Yeah, yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. I'm going to put our crowns down in it. I mean, that's actually been painted. So you think the 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
So we continued to go for, I think it was about a mile, and as we came round this corner, we could we came upon Westport Lake, and uh, you've got a housing estate on your left, but just pure field, uh, countryside on the right-hand side, with a lovely lake, and decided to moor up here for the evening. And uh, there was nothing around to eat, but luckily my brother had got his car. So uh, he picked his car up and he drove us to the Plume of Feathers. And that was our first meal at the Plume of Feathers. And as you'll find in the next vlog, we went back there again because it was so good. And when we arrived back after the meal and everything, walking back down to the boat, and the towpath has got lights on it uh, on the actual side of the canal just into the floor which was good so that you can actually see quite easily and it was perfectly safe to moor there and uh, it's just a really pretty area so we can highly recommend going there and we will definitely book there again when we come back up next year so thanks for watching we hope you've enjoyed it and just remember Harecastle Tunnel is not a scary tunnel to do it's a really easy one and I must admit I think next time I will even be brave enough and steer through because it's not very bendy or anything like that. So don't forget to subscribe, tick the bell icon so that you'll know when we put the next video out. It'll probably be this time next week. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye. Go on then. Are you pleased to be home? <laughs> <laughs>